Welcome back everyone. Today we have some exciting talk about the Galaxy S11 camera as well as a couple other leaks. So you can kindly show your support by taking 5 seconds of your time to click the like button and let's get started. So Ice Universe tweeted this S11 Plus 108 megapixel 9 to 1 12 megapixel 2.4 micrometers. So what does this mean? You see the Galaxy S11 Plus will have the massive sensor size of 1 over 1.3 inches. It's the largest sensor size in a smartphone but this sensor is divided into 108 8 million pixels. The problem is, the increase in pixel count was much more in relation to the increase in the actual sensor size, which means you'll end up with small pixels. Yeah, you'll be able to zoom in much thanks to having a greater number of pixels, but a small pixel captures less light than a large pixel, which means the image won't be as clear and will have more noise in low light compared to a 12 megapixel sensor that has a larger pixel size. So what's the solution? What if sometimes you want to take 108 megapixel large photos that you can crop and other times you want the sharpest and best looking photos possible. The answer is called pixel binning. Basically, it's when you merge multiple pixels together and have them act as one big pixel that has a lot more area for capturing more light, increasing dynamic range, and reducing noise. Samsung already does this with the Isocell Bright HMX that Xiaomi is using. It merges four pixels together to give you a 27 megapixel image out of the 108 megapixel sensor. Samsung calls this Tetra Cell because Tetra means four. Now, because you watched my previous video, you know that Samsung won't be using this ISO Cellbrite HMX with the S11 Plus, they'll use something even better because if you can merge more than four pixels together to have an even bigger pixel size, then your overall image quality and low light performance will be awesome. And that's what Samsung is doing with the Plus. They're using a new sensor that can merge not four, but nine pixels together, turning the 108 million pixels to 12 million each with a pixel size of 2.4 micrometers aka microns. And for comparison, the latest iPhone 11 Pro and Google Pixel 4 XL both have a pixel size of 1.4 microns. There should also be the 108 megapixel mode like we saw in the One UI 2.0 files, but when you switch to the 12 megapixel mode, you will have the largest pixel size in a smartphone and you can expect revolutionary camera performance out of it. That's not the only good news today. A lot of people don't like the messy camera layout of the Plus that we saw in previous renders, and ICE is for the fourth time reassuring us that it won't look like that. This time with an image of what he's saying is the real camera arrangement, or at least half of it. So on the left we have the ultra wide lens, the main exciting 108 megapixel camera, and the periscope camera that will offer up to 10 times optical and 100 times hybrid zoom. You can notice it's opening a square, which is what we're used to in periscope cameras, and here is the full module. Last but not least, here are some screen protectors of the S11 and the S11 Plus, and wow, we certainly came a long way since the first infinity display of the Galaxy S8, and there is always more to come, and because you don't want to miss out on that, consider subscribing with notifications on because I'll be covering all the exciting tech from Samsung and more. So thank you so much for watching, drop a like and leave a comment, it means a lot to me, and I'll see you next time.